Hi, this is Sean Mullery from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo and what I'm going to do in this program is I'm going to take information or numbers in from a .csv file which is a kind of a version of an Excel file and I'm going to find out the average of those uh, numbers and then print out the average on the screen. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a .csv file called numbers. Again, I'm only opening this for reading so um, I'll leave the OR there, but I'll put CSV because it's going to be a comma separated variable. Now, I don't have to open that as a text file and put commas in between them or anything like that. I'm going to do that uh, with, uh, uh, within Excel, and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, so I want to come up with a few variables that I'm going to use. So I'm going to use sum because uh, I'm going to add up all the numbers in it. I'm going to make a float called average. Um, I have an array, I'm just going to have 20 elements in the array uh, and there's going to be an array of ints and I'm going to leave my const in there because I'm going to use that. So again I'm going to uh, have a for loop uh, that's going to go through and take in uh, 20 of these things. I'm going to take them in as percent %d's though um, and they must be separated by a comma uh, in the in the type of file that it is, so that has to be taken account of in the scanf. Scanf has to expect to see a, a comma in between each element. Um, and I'm going to put those into array, into the array. Um, I don't need to be checking if it's an A, that's from the previous program, so I'll get rid of that. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to uh, add up these numbers. So sum is assigned sum plus a or or a y i so the current value of the array okay sorry here we go okay now the other way you can write that by the way just to, if you're not familiar with it is rather than saying sum is assigned sum plus you could uh, say sum plus equals um is the shorter way to write it and you so you can write it that way i'm going to leave it at that but uh, but you can write it either way is uh, is fine after the for loop, after I've summed them all up, I'm going to take the average by saying is assigned. Um, now, we have a bit of an issue here that we need to deal with sum divided by n, which is we add up all the numbers and we divide by the number of numbers that we took in, which is 20. Uh, the problem is that sum is an integer, as you can see from previously, and uh, so is n. And because they're both integers, if I divide one into another, uh, I will end up with an integer result rather than getting a floating point result. <coughs> Two options for this. Um, I could leave my float up here as, or sorry, my sum as a float. I could change it to that way. Or I can explicitly state it down here that I want uh, one of these to become a float first before the operation is done. And that just tells the compiler, don't do an integer divide on this. Do a um, change sum into a float before you do the divide so that you make sure you get a division or you get a, a floating point result, which uh, average is capable of holding. And what I'm then going to do is I'm going to print out the average. And I'll do that in this one actually. Um, I put in a percent F and um, average and we'll get rid of this um, line here which is not required okay so we're ready to go uh, apart from the fact that the file does not actually exist um, for that and just to show you that if I run that um, will we get rid of any little errors we have here first uh, yeah I'm missing a semicolon Okay, file couldn't be open for some reason, and we know the reason is that the file doesn't exist. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to open uh, a file in Excel, and the fastest way for me to open a file in Excel is to open one of the previous ones. Then close that. Um, yeah, okay. And make a new file. Um, so what I'm going to do in order that it's a fairly obvious result that I'm going to get two, three, four, five is I'm going to just put um, the numbers all the way up uh, in ascending order up to 20.
okay um, now just to show you what the average should be using Excel what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the sum of all those numbers okay and the sum is 210 and then I'm going to get the average of them which is you've probably already guessed it anyway um, divided by 20 is 10.5 okay so just remember that 10.5 is what we're expecting um, now, uh, but I'll come back to it is that you'll notice I haven't saved this Excel file yet because, and I don't want to save it as an Excel file. <coughs> so save as, and uh, we need to click on this and pick the correct type, which is CSV. You know, you can see there's two different types, Macintosh and MS-DOS. Um, I assume they still both have uh, uh, comma separated variables between them, but anyway. Um, if any of you are using a Mac, you can let me know how you get on with that. And uh, I want to make sure I put this in the correct directory, which is down, down here, 201, into file I.O. And I'm going to call it uh, the name that I gave it, which I think was numbers. And because it's uh, the save type as a CSV, that should be fine. Now, it'll tell me all sorts of things. Are you sure you want to do that? Are you crazy, etc., etc.? Because it's uh, adamant that it wants you to save it as Excel. It thinks CSV is not a good idea, but... Uh, we go yes yes i'm absolutely sure and um we can close it down then at that don't save it any further um but uh that information is in in the file now so you can see that that's numbers there and uh, what i'm going to do then is i'm going to run this program and you can see that it's now come up and said the average is 10.05 so it's taken in all those numbers and you can see it's done it quite quickly and taken an average off uh, off the numbers okay so that's how to take information in from a csv file